Hi, this is Miss D at D Special Things, and this is week nine, the absolute last week of the Killer Kit co collaboration. Um, first of all, thank you, Jamie, for hosting this collaboration, and thank you all the ladies that participated. I think we have now about 18 of us, and probably 19 with Jamie. It could be 18 altogether. I don't know, but, you know, um, as... As time went on, others had joined. I think we started with 13, then it went to 15, then to 17, then to 18. Anyway, go look in my description box and you'll see all of the ladies listed. I don't know if their links will work, but um, if they don't, go to my video before that and click on their videos. Go check all of their projects out. Oh my gosh. I'm glad to say, I'm really happy to say that, yay, we're at the end of this collaboration. I had loads of fun. I enjoyed everyone's videos, all the projects, the inspiration, the comments. I enjoyed it all. Um, my biggest challenge was doing a project for this long of a period eight nine weeks that was a lot for me i found that i wasn't getting a lot of other things done but other than that i got a lot of things done that i probably would not have done yes i would have done them okay yeah but um i found that this kind of uh you know it was so demanding i committed to it i had to do it so that was a challenge for me but yay 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 thanks to inspiration from the other ladies the comments the it gave me a little push to just keep doing it um yeah my biggest challenge was the time it was just too long for one project but um yeah four weeks i could probably do easy phew nine weeks that was a task but anywho I had fun. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed everyone's projects. Um, I have a long, I think I, I may have all of y'all projects in here. It was a lot. It was, I'll go through and see which projects I didn't write down. Um, I just ended up with ooh, a pretty long to-do list for so many reasons, but I want to go ahead and show you, yay, the last project. And then I, I think I'm able to show you everything that I did. Like I said, check down in the links for the other ladies. Thank you, Poet Spice. And this is the project that I made this week. And I made this project because, yeah, I had to, and looking at my to-do list, I needed a project to send to, and this is dealing even with another challenge, uh, Noelle Hersig, I think that's how you say her name. She was doing a, and I don't even know if I could say it. Oh my gosh, I don't know. So, yes, check out Noelle Hersig, uh channel, and, you know, maybe I'm not supposed to say it, but... Uh, one of the ladies has surgery, and we wanted to send, yes, her subscribers wanted to send her a Get Well Soon card, something with the little humor in it that she can pick up and read, and um, yes, all that kind of good stuff. So I made her, and it's not a flip book, it's actually a card that I actually just put stuff in, but... It had to be with humor, so yeah, I did her a little card with my favorite little characters. Love those minions. Yes, so I did her this, and this one was inspired by a flip that I made. I made it a little different, but yes, I got all of the ideas, a lot of the ideas from this little flip book that I made uh, using an envelope, gosh, a while back. But yes, here's her card, and I used the cards. I turned them inside out and doubled them and put them on here. Of course, the thing that is, uh, yeah, 
the thing that I like about the minions are the jeans. I love doing these with the jeans because they wear jeans, right? So yeah. But um this came out totally different than I even thought it would. I was planning to do something else, but this says hi. I actually took the little um I think make market material. All of this is make market material. These are these little blue jeans. I got those from AC Moore. They were on clearance. And I uh, picked up a bunch of those. But yeah. And then I did some little punches. Some bees. Of course the minions are the playing cards. And I just cut those and attached them to the face of the card. And there you are. That's the front of it. And it says sending you hugs. I can't say who this is for. But it's for uh, one of my subscribers. And I'm just hoping you get well soon. This is my only project that I did for the Killer Kit collaboration. And um, as I told you before, uh, yeah, you'll have to probably wait until I do the winners. I have four winners for the first four weeks of my Killer Kit collaboration. I also have a fifth winner um, who guess what I was making for one of the Killer Kit collaboration things and I probably won't be able to show you that I'll tell you because I haven't finished it but yes this is her card and then you open it up and I just wanted to make it fun for her and it says you're the best her card is over here it says just because right here this is one of the cards and on the back side it has a little minion there. I just love these guys. And then here's a minion. <laughs> and I was going to put a little note in on each one of these. I didn't get around to it, but before I send this out, the note will the notes will be attached to it and I'll put some information in here probably all about me. And then here is a card that says feel better soon. Oh, no. Feel better, okay? Yes, I was trying. No, this isn't the card that. And then on the back side of it, I used washi tape and some little punch heart punches and did the little minions there like they were trying to put those up or they were. And then I put the little hearts like he was playing his thing and the little hearts was coming out of there. And that says feel better. OK, and that goes in there. And then this one. It's just all you need is love. Yeah. And then the back side, it has a jean heart. And of course, I'll probably put something over that. Because this, I guess, is supposed to be a banner. But I used it the way I wanted to. And that goes in there. I just love this little, it's an interactive card. And this one right here are the minions there. And these, uh, there's nothing on that side. But. This is a pocket and I'll put a little note in there and send it to her so that she can. I can tell her, you know, wish her get better. And on this side, this right here, I used a, I don't know if you know what those little bracket things are. I think it's by... <sighs> I forget which company, but I got them from Tuesday morning. And I just threaded this Make Market um, jean thread through it so that I could tie it up when I finish. I put the little goodies in there. But yes, this is her card. And Noel, send me a, I mean, leave a comment, Noel, because I, I think you'll watch my video. Leave a comment and tell me if it's okay to send this now or Am I too late or what? But I don't know. So, yeah, let me know. But even if I'm too late, I'll send it anyway. The person is not going to know who I'm sending it to until they get it. But it says hugs just because. I hope this card makes her smile. Yeah. But by the time I put all the little goodies and the rest of the stuff in it, she will hopefully like it. So that was my project for this week. Um, and sorry that was the only project I did. I found that when I put myself in a box, which I did with the kit, 
sometimes that's a challenge for me to get things done because then it's like okay use this stuff and only this stuff and that's as good as you get I can do that but I decided whatever is in my craft room was what I was going to use my my thing was to do projects I wanted to kill a kid I never even got close you guys and I think because after a while I didn't even worry about killing the kid I worried about making the project so yes this is my project for this week and if I can show you all of my projects um, this one will go out to the person that I actually did it for for the challenge for Noel Hersick I did a challenge for her um, that's who that person is for that person um, I think my, I can't tell you week by week what I was supposed to do. I do know because I don't have it in this book that I had everything written in. I know. I, I organize, I out organize myself. You know how you organize stuff till it's not even organized anymore? Yeah, that's what I do. But one of the projects, and I think it was the first one, I did a metal art piece and I actually used acrylic. Um, yeah, I'm having a, a avalanche over here. What do they call it? Uh, supply uh, launch or uh, whatever. Everything is falling. But anyway, that my first project was a metal art piece. So, and I did it on acrylic. And I made a book. I know I'm moving around, right? But I'll be back over there. Um, and what I did was I actually put it on an acrylic book. And then I thought to myself, okay, that's a lot to do for one person. So I decided, and I haven't finished them yet, I decided to make the winner a piece of art. And it says, love art. And I haven't painted it out or colored it or jazzied it up or anything. But I did it on a 5x7. Is this 5x7? A canvas. These are the Art of Lost can canvases. I remember... Uh, about woo, it was so long ago, years ago. I actually got 10 packs, it was either 10 packs or 12 of these, and I bought loads of them because they went down to they clearanced them out at one time. I guess people weren't buying them, and I actually purchased them in all sizes for I know no more than about a dollar fifty, two dollars a, a bulk of these. So yeah, I have loads of them. This one says, as you can see, love art, and I have to finish it. And this is what it looks like when I start it. I have to finish that, and I have another one here that I'm going to try to finish. Um, I'll probably do a few more, but I don't know if I'm going to put one of these in every person's, every winner um, package. Like I said, I have four winners. For the collaboration because I only did giveaways for the first four and then I started doing other projects so yeah the, and then I told you who would win then I had a challenge and it was for my hot air balloon and somebody guessed that I was making a hot air balloon um, I'll show you that in another project because it is still an ongoing project and it's coming along quite nicely. Someone did guess uh, Audrey, so she gets one of the purses. And that was the next project that I made. And the purses, I have it beside me. Well, I thought I did. <laughs> Woo! I know you guys see purses up here, but these are ones that I'm making right now because after I made them, I was like, mm, I want my purses to look different than that. I want them to have reinforcement and nice little cute scraps, uh, straps, not scraps, straps. So I actually made this one. I'm actually making handles for it out of, yes, this, some of them will have these, some of them, I'll, I'll see what kind of material I can find to make these, but I just thought they were a little sturdier than these. Um, these are cute, so I'm going to keep them in my challenge, but right now I'm putting together 
you guys, I'm putting together loads of these. And I wanted the bottom to be reinforced, so I actually cut a piece of chipboard so I could put in there. Yeah, so it's almost like I'm making brand new projects uh, for, for my giveaways uh, because I want to. Yeah, so I'll probably spend the rest of the day. And here is one, two, three more that I have folded and ready to go. And then, in here, and I'll probably do loads of these. This was another project. I made these little boxes. This wasn't hard because I have the boxes that I ordered from... Mm, I don't know because I ordered them a long time ago, years ago, and they have the front of them, and I decided to use these because I had loads of them, and they just made the perfect little gift deal, but I also had these that I ordered. I got this idea from Bona, Live Love Scrap, oh, probably a year or so ago, and I ordered these like uh, a bulk of them so I have loads and loads of these so I wanted to actually use these as little gift deals and yeah put those in there and then I, I made and I'll make a bunch of these too I made a bunch of these little um pocket letter things and you just, I mean, they're shakers, but they're made out of the page protectors that you use for the pocket letters. So, yeah, I thought these were cute, so I decided to make bunches of these to put in the, um, in the little purses. And then I also took these and took the size off of them and made shakers so yeah those came in those came in quite handy I have shakers there you guys so yeah um I made those and then I also made envelopes and um yeah with little uh little note pad tags in them so someone could actually take these and use them to send to someone or whatever but I figured I'll put a little pack of the envelopes in the um yeah in here yes I just have a lot going on don't I okay so I want to remember and these are these are probably going to be my what do you call it when you do a project um uh, prototype yeah but out each of these will have each of these purses will have the little doodads on it yeah I'll make them the same but I need to keep something for my prototype and those will probably be my prototype but I'm reinforcing these uh yeah but I also wanted to show Miss Terry because I wanted to make my handles like this and she sent me she sent me these who knew and she got them from Daiso Terry these are the D rings that's what they are I was trying to tell her yesterday I was talking to her I was trying to tell her what it was I wanted her to get me and these are the D rings because I need lots of them for my handles I'm not certain that I have a lot but these are a little bigger and these are the ones that I had in my stash um, I think they're a little bigger than the ones that you sent me. So, yes, if you come across these, please, please send me, you know, send me as many as you can get. And I'll re reimburse you. Yeah, I just need some to make my handles because I want them to have, I want these to have cloth handles. I like that look. And then, too, I want to reinforce them. So, yeah, I need those. Okay, another project that I did were these little um, ice cream cones. I used the template by Paper Wishes. Um, I got them from Paper Wishes and these were the ice cream cones. 
and I had stuck little cards in there um, for a person to you know put whatever on them and then I also made some little shakers here so I'm gonna put those in my um in my purses and I can't remember everything that I made but I want to show you a lot of the stuff yeah because I did a lot so by the time I put packages together I'm not certain if they'll have everything in every single one of these but I'm gonna put enough stuff in the packages um, for you guys I actually used these to make little shakers I hadn't finished with them but I used these uh, what are they luggage tags and I hadn't finished those but of course I needed to get them all together so I could show you what the start of my little doodads were gonna be it takes a minute to get them all together yeah so I'm playing with these but by the time I send everything out uh, you all will get whatever I put in your your purse yeah and they'll they will be there will be four of these winners with the purses in addition to Audrey who won one of them as a challenge and um, if I could take my I can't reach it let's see yes she won the challenge where, and I said I wasn't going to show it to you because I was still working with it. Um, this is the hot air balloon that I am actually making. And she guessed that I was using the uh, mm, Michael's Lantern to make a hot air balloon. And I think because she had seen me make one years before, but I used a I use this and of course I'm making another one I use a glass globe and it's that size compared to this side I wanted a bigger one I love these things I don't know why I'm so obsessed with the hot air balloons but right now I have a few other quite a bit to do for this project and once I do it I have to try to get this back up here I'll do that later once I do it I'll show you the completed project but you guys know I can't just finish a project this is another project that I did the Vallis the Tim Holtz Vallis little ATC book and yeah I'm gonna do I'll only do five of these um, and I don't know if every person will win them I know the person for the week will win one and I'll see if I can do enough for everybody's project, okay? Everybody will win for the first four weeks. Everyone wins a purse with a lot of the goodies in there. Um, the person for the week one is going to win that art, metal art. I don't know that everyone will win it, but I'm going to uh, try to do it. And you all have to give me a chance to actually put the prizes together I'm working diligently yes I have quite a few of these ready to do but as you can see I am just slowly working on getting them all together it takes time to do the projects because you really have to if I'm sending projects out I want to make sure I think about think about it people <laughs> I mean, I don't want to just put some stuff together and hope you like it. I want it to be something that you would really appreciate and you can look at it and cherish it. And it looks like it can be an idea that you can use for another project or um, you might want to make your own project. And then I made because I have a lot of projects here I can share them among so you guys may be surprised when you get your project this I made the envelope um, the stuffed envelopes and this is one right here that I actually went ahead and finished up it was all about the dies this week because I wanted to use um, 
the machine that I had purchased from Tuesday morning and I wanted to show you all how intricate the cuts were I mean the cuts were that awesome and I didn't have to do a whole lot of running it through back and forth it just cuts it like butter yeah so I used a bunch of the dies the, even these cards are dies and um, I figured I would incorporate that into the stuff envelope card here is one and I didn't you can stuff this as much as you want I just stuffed mine um, I'm just putting stuff in here inside and it'll probably be a bunch of uh, die cuts that I put in here too but you can actually put a pocket on the outside stuff it. I didn't do that because um, I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, but you can stuff it any way you feel. But this is a finished product that I actually, and it says for a wonderful friend. So I actually finished these. Appreciate, And this one just have a bunch of words on it. I don't think I'm finished with this one either. But you'll see the finished product when I show you all everything that I did and then I also had another project and I know you guys are like okay Miss D stop it already I made the file folder flip and yeah I'll probably do a few of these too I found that yeah I promised a lot of stuff <laughs> I don't know <laughs> you have to go back and look at the other um, videos where I just made stuff but I know the Whoever the winner was for that week, they would definitely get one of these. Um, and then I'll see how many more I could make to put in the other um, the other weeks. Yeah. But, yes, this was, I got, I have to say that I got loads and loads of projects done. I really did. And then the last week. Week 8, I actually worked on... Let me make sure I have all the projects over here. Oops, that's my chair that I worked on. I heard this. Did you hear that sound? I was like, what the... Okay, let me stop. But anyway, this was the last project I worked on. And this was for my grandson, 4. And if you want to see this completed project, because the thing came out, wow. It, I just sat here and I thought about my grandbaby as I was doing it he just makes me smile he is such a sweetheart he is oh that's my little new babies you know how they do us yeah but he's 10 months old now he'll be e what's this month September he'll be 11 months and his birthday is in October so I think I have enough time to make him a um photo album yes but that is another of my projects and I'm thinking I think the whole time I was making it it was all about seeing his mom smile when she looked through this book so I'm hoping this makes her smile and I didn't put any pictures we both have the same pictures so I figured I'll let them put the pictures in especially her she's a crafter so she can do this yeah I'll let her put the pictures in just the way she want to so those are all my projects you guys i really really appreciate you all <sighs> coming to see what i had planned or what i did i had a lot of fun with this even though i had a challenge of doing it for this long a period i still have fun sometimes i think when i have a challenge it encourages me and inspires me to just keep going at it so that I could see what it is I'll come up with and then just looking at the paying attention to the um the detail I watched the other ladies and they came up with they made me pay attention to detail too because I watched what they did and they inspired me to do just a little more and no do this I've seen so many projects that I want to do I want to um uh can we say copy okay i won't say copy but yeah i'm gonna copy a lot of their not copy per se but 
I'm going to do a lot of their projects because I just can't, co I can't copy myself. So I know I can't copy another person. It's hard for me to duplicate uh, the same project that I do. So, um, yeah, I'll do what they did because, yeah, a lot of their projects, I was like, oh, my gosh, I got to do that. I got to make that, which I really like. Um, all the ideas. I That's what I, I think I enjoyed more than anything. I enjoyed the fact that we shared ideas with each other. And now I can go back and look through my book once I update it. And see all the things I want to do. Um, see. Uh, yeah. Get some more stuff done. So I know it's a lot. But when I come back. Um, I am going to. And it'll probably be next weekend is my birthday. Say yay. Happy birthday, Miss D. <laughs> I'll celebrate the entire day. Yes, I am. Matter of fact, on my birthday, I am going to start my two-year countdown to retirement. Yay. Yes. So, um, I get to retire, you guys. Oh, my gosh. That is, I think the thing that's really pushing me is when I went home, all my sisters were like, oh, I retired. I retired. Yeah. Um, all but one have retired so far. So, yes, I'm the last one. But, you know, I'm not going to do it because they did it. I'm, I think I'm ready now. I think I want to just have my fun. So, this was a lot of fun. This is the kind of stuff that I wouldn't mind doing if I were retired yeah just sitting all day doing crafty stuff yeah but uh so this is the kind of fun i'm looking forward to i really appreciate everyone that came over left comments keep leaving them um i'm gonna leave this challenge open until the weekend of my birthday next weekend yes i'll close the challenge and then I'll start letting you know probably as I finish the projects that I want to mail out I'll start letting you know who won the first second third or fourth week after that there were no winners with the exception of okay I missed something with the exception of Audrey she won a fifth challenge she won